And you've, okay, you've been in with, with GE for, I think, 16 years? 16 years, yeah. But not just, you know, with GE, but over the years, have you seen an increase in number of women um, in tech? Or is the number, I don't know what, what the stacks are, but I wouldn't think there's, of course, not as many as, um, you know, the male counterparts. Right. So let's talk some of the numbers, right? First of all, when you look at the global world, there's a parity split right down the middle. Half of the world is women, right? And the other uh, other thing that's important to know is that, you know, as we build the pipeline, more girls are going to school, more girls are getting their education. We are the workforce of the future. Not to say that men aren't, but what I'm saying is that if you're not preparing for women, then you're completely missing what the world is going to look like. If you want your organization, your business, your nonprofit, whatever it is that you're a part of, if you want it to be a true reflection of the world, then we have to start talking about women being in leadership and sitting at the table. The economic studies prove that when you have women involved in any type of decision making, in any leadership, the opportunity for a business or for an idea to take root and to just grow mm. is 10 times fold. So women being at the table, women being a part of the decision is what matters for the future of business. It's going to add to the global economy, it's going to add to the GDP, and it's what's going to be critical for what we're going, who we are as a nation. Women in technology will only add to that mm -hmm. because we're a technical world. Well, we're, right now, you, you can't escape it. You can't name one two-year-old that doesn't know how to tell you how to operate your phone, your iPhone, your smart TV, anything, right? Mm -hmm. If I can't figure out how to work my phone, I can ask my great nephew. He's three. And they and can, they're can always, figure it you know, out. Kids are always pressing things. But where are the girls in this? And mm. the women are doing just as much. And so young girls having an opportunity to gain an interest in technology, grow in the technology space, is going to build the pipeline for the future. Now, you asked me what I've seen over the, over years. the years. I've been an engineer for more than 20 years. I can tell you that my first mentor that was a woman has only been in the past five years of my career. So I've had great mentors, mm -hmm. men that have done wonderful things for my career, helped me study the right things, positioned me for leadership. But the first female mentor that I've had, I said the past five years, because it's harder to find us in that environment. When I graduated from the School of Engineering, my degree is in mechanical engineering. So you find less women that study mechanical and electrical engineering. Five of us that graduated in my class. Uh, of, of five out of, out of five many. women out of over in the graduating class, over 300 plus. Whoa. So, but doesn't that make you feel special, though? No, it shouldn't make me feel special. Not in 2017. Maybe okay. it should make my mom feel special, right? Okay. Because she's my mom, and she just thinks I'm the best thing in the world. <laughs> and so she's like, "Oh, my daughter's. She's the only mechanical engineer. She's the only executive in this role. She's. That's great for your mom to be able to brag about mm -hmm. you. In this day and age." To me, that is not a solid reflection of the society that we live in. And I don't think that that's something that we should say our goal should be. No. It should be a it should more, be equal more than split. That. Absolutely. Every uh, time we go through this cycle, there should be more. And so every time I meet a woman and she says, I'm a mechanical engineer, or I'm a chemi or something, I'm high-fiving her and telling her, you know, mm -hmm. stick with it. Mm -hmm. Because it's one thing to start the program, it's another thing to finish it. So. Again, I just want to uh, button this up by saying I haven't seen as much improvement as I think that we should see um, mm. just as, as a society overall. You can't tell me that there aren't women and girls out there that want to study in this space that can be uh, great technologists or that are currently studying and that need to be in the workforce. They're out there. Uh,